If you are one of the people counting down to SpaceX's next trip into space, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Hopefully, Elon Musk announcing the launch of his company's Starship rocket system will now happen tomorrow in order to replace a rocket part. I want to bring in Leroy Chow. He is a retired NASA astronaut. Leroy, good to see you again. Good to chat with you. Yeah, nice to be so, with you. So first, can you explain why this was, was postponed again? I mean, what happened? How significant was it? Uh, they had to replace what's called a grid fin panel, and that is a piece that actually helps stabilize uh, the booster as it comes back down. You know, eventually, of course, the, the Falcon Super Heavy booster is designed to be fully reusable, and so they had a, some kind of an issue with one of those fins. You can see them in your pictures there near the top of the booster section. Uh, there are four of them, and so they're just uh, you know replacing it because there was some kind of a, an issue. So it's not too big of a deal. And again, like you said, they're going to try again tomorrow morning. So remind us of the the implications of this. They're they're pretty huge, uh, certainly for Elon Musk and certainly for the company. Um, he hopes that the company ultimately leads to human exploration on the moon and Mars. So walk me through what you're watching and just how significant uh, this is. Well, sure. This is this is a big deal. Uh, this system is being designed to be fully reusable, and that is a big game changer. It may not be obvious to the general public, uh, but what it's going to do when it's successful, and I do believe it will be in fully operational, it will dramatically bring down the cost of launching, especially large payloads up into orbit. And so uh, what you're seeing is really something that's the beginning of a, a kind of a revolution in bringing down launch costs dramatically. Uh, SpaceX says a version of this will one day take around 100 people at a time to Mars. Uh, they have plans, of course, to colonize Mars, so we'll see how all that goes. But <laughs> in the shorter term, I think that we'll see a good flight test. I learned a lot from the last one back in April, and I think they'll get a lot farther this time. Okay, so if, if all goes according to plan tomorrow, I believe morning, Leroy, and correct me if I'm wrong, but if all goes according to plan, how long is this going to last once it sort of takes off, and what are you going to be watching? Right, so if the overall mission is going to be probably just shy of 90 minutes or so, and you'll see the rocket lift off. Hopefully, you'll have a, a good separation between the booster and the Starship, and the Starship will then go almost into orbit. It'll make almost a complete orbit of, a, of the Earth, come back down, uh, testing the, the heat-resistant uh, heat, heat shields, basically, in the entry profile, and then it's going to splash down, uh, I believe, just uh, west of Hawaii. And so... Um, you know, the whole flight, if it's as, as successful as we all hope, uh, it'll be just under 90 minutes or so. Okay. And then help me, and for folks who are wondering where you can watch it, I think SpaceX is actually going to stream on X. Elon Musk, obviously, sort of making that connection there for people at home. So, Leroy, help me understand, if tomorrow is successful, in terms of getting to um, the ultimate goal, the exploration on the moon and Mars, what would theoretically and ideally happen next? Right. So if tomorrow is very successful, you will get, we're going to see more flight tests. In fact, NASA has uh, contracted with SpaceX to use uh, the Starship technology to develop a lander for the moon, for the Artemis program. And so, uh, you know, this flight test is very much directly related to uh, NASA's goals as well. Uh, you know, hopefully in the future, we'll see more and more cooperation between commercial companies like SpaceX and NASA, and that'll leverage the strengths of both entities to help get us back to the moon faster and onto Mars. Yeah, well, here's hoping it all goes according to plan tomorrow morning. I know a lot of people are going to be watching it. Retired NASA astronaut Leroy Chow. Leroy, thank you.